Hey everybody, welcome back to our Pokemon Platinum uh, version. This is episode uh, 2. Last episode we started our adventure, we headed into Jubilife City. And in this episode we'll be continuing on towards Orberg City. Um, so first we're going to do, uh, what I'm going to say is that um, I traded over with my friend and I got this Elekin. Um, I'm planning to have an, um, um, what it was, he hatched it from the uh, daycare because he had an Electivire previously. And then he had uh, traded over to me, which is good. So now... Basically, um, I'm excited to have it because I think Electivire will be a great addition to our team. Um, I'm looking quite forward to having it. So, um, let's go ahead and get started on this route. Um, first we're going to notice is when you left, leave here, you'll see your rival here, Barry. And then it comes sprinting up to you as always and talk to you a little bit and he's going to challenge you to battle. So, be prepared for this. He's going to start off with a level 9 Starly. Um, I'm not really sure what its moveset is, but... Let's just play along with it. I didn't get any prepared for this battle or whatever. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Shock here. Probably two of these will knock it out. Maybe even one if we're lucky. So, yeah, there we go. One. That's nice. Alright, one down. One to go. There we go. And we got Low Kick. Nice. That's great. Alright, hold on, guys. Alright, there we go. So look, it's up a few levels, and now we're going to head into a Chimchar. Alright, so now I'm going to switch up to Finn to take this on. Um, I know Plug can probably do it too, but I'm just going to get Finn a part in this battle because Finn uh, needs some training as well. He evolves in three levels. There's his Chimchar, level 9. Um, his strongest Pokemon, his starter, of course. Very strongest Pokemon will always be his starter. Let's knock it out here, and there we go. That is down, and we are good to go, so that's good. Finn's up a level, Ella Kid's up a level... And we are great to go. Um, we are ready for our first gym challenge. Oh, Finn's got up two levels. That's nice. Haha, <laughs> wow. Thanks, Chimchar. And we're learning double teams. I'm going to take that for sure. That's a great move to learn. Um, I'll play Scrabble. I don't need that move anymore. There we go. Now we're learning double team. Nice. Alright, so Finn's up one more level. There we go. And then, of course, he's going to get all pissed off because he lost. He hates losing. That's just normal Barry. Of course. I'm going to switch Sprite up in front. Um, he's going to need our most training. He's going to be our um, main sweeper for the first gym. Because, of course, you all know R Rourke is a rock-type user. So, yeah, there we go. Just going to keep doing all these battles here. Just so we can get as much experience as we can. Oh, no, I didn't notice that. Oh, crap. All right, whatever. We'll have to heal up now, then. But anyways, Finn's going to get a level. And there we go. So, Finn is evolving already. That's great. we got a Staravia. Um, Staravia is a pretty good Pokemon. It's the second stage of the three stages for uh, Star Starly. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it to evolve this early on, but that's great. I mean, that's great, because Starly is easily our strongest Pokemon right now. Our Staravia is easily our strongest Pokemon right now. Guys, I'm going to go and heal up uh, Turwig, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're done healed up, and we're ready to continue on towards Orberg. Um, so anyways, as you can tell, it'll be uh, probably about just, like, battling trainers and stuff, and pushing on towards the next city. As, of course, we need our first gym badge, which is, like, the basis of... Starting your adventure, you always want to get your first gym badge as early as possible, and of course, we're pretty close now, so. I'll just go ahead and keep battling these dudes. There we go, spreads up a level. Um, I think he learns Range Leaf at the next level, which is good because that's our um, going to be our best move once we learn it. So, one more knock it out, there we go. And we're going to have another level, and there we go, learn Razor Leaf. Perfect. Okay, so I was looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to get. Um, Sprite, actually, I'm going to train up Alakid now because Sprite's going to get a lot of training about the first gym. That's kind of his uh, boost to experience. Um, let's put a plug up front. He's going to need our training, and he's going to be good because if you up here, there's a couple of Pokemon you can battle that will be a little bit weak too, so that's nice. And there we go. So we're going to run from the Shinx. Battle this crow right here. I think she has an, uh, four Pokemon. All level four, so nothing too hard, really. Let's go for a low kick. Thunder Shock. Huh. Plug's not listening, what the heck? But he traded me at level, like, 1. Alright guys, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him until there, and we're just gonna train him other Pokemon until the first gym, because I think at level 15 he'll be actually be able to listen to us. So let's go switch over to Sprout. I know it's not really strong against Pokemon. There we go, it's in one shot, and it's gonna switch over to Voodoo. We'll just keep attacking them. One more. And there we go. There's down, so... We're just gonna, um... Wait until the next gym to actually uh, train up Plug. 
because, of course, um, I guess the obedience rule, I guess we overleveled them a little bit. Um, we should have waited. Um, I got another level uh, 9 off screen. So, I'm not really sure, but anyways, let's go ahead and just keep battling all these dudes. Um, what I understand is how this girl got a Nifty Keen gym badge from the first gym leader. If her Psyduck was only level 8, and his strongest Pokemon was a level, eight, like, 14 Rambertos, it doesn't make any sense. Like, that's kind of weird, but... You know, I'm not so gonna argue, that's just computer programming. That's just Nintendo, being Nintendo. And, so yeah, I mean, a lot of you might be asking why I'm using, um... Uh, Tor uh... Torbeek on my adventure, I mean... Torbeek is very underused, um, Torterra is assumed as a very terrible, like, not very good Pokemon. Um, grass types tend to not be the strongest out of all of them. Um, but I'm taking the, uh, chance here, I'm just gonna go with Torterra because I think it'll be great and I already have a really good team assembled for the rest of the game. Um, I think I might have mentioned it last episode, but I'm not entirely sure. But let's just go ahead and head into this cave because we're gonna be trekking in through here and towards Orberg City. So let's go ahead and spray this one repel we just picked up. Um, we don't want to want any wild Pokemon, so yeah. Let's talk to this dude. He'll give us a HMO6, Rock Smash. So, I mean, we can go ahead and teach that to Bidoof right now if we wanted to. I mean, we can't use it until after the gym. But we're just going to go like that anyway so we don't forget or anything like that. But whatever. Let's go ahead and battle the other dudes. Get as much experience as we can. Be prepared for this gym battle. There we go, and he's up. Alright, great. So, switch over to Staravia now. I think, uh, Sprout and Finnegan. I wish we could, um, train a plug a little bit higher level because now he's gonna need an entire boost of training after we've actually defeated, um, Rourke. But I mean, Finn and, um, Sprout will get a lot of training anyways, so, um, he's gonna be our main attacker for at least till Fulama Town, which I think he'll be a balanced level with the others. So let's go ahead and follow this dude around, and you'll see, here's Barry. So go ahead and talk to him. Huh? Oh, it's you, Taco. You finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyways, the gym leader's tough. Like, seriously, tough. If the gym leader's tough, this tough, I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. So, I guess Barry already challenged him, and then he went to the coal mine, so... Now, basically, we just have to, um, head down to the coal mines, talk to him, and make sure you go back to his gym so we can actually, uh, do that. So, guys, I'm gonna heal up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're ready, so we're gonna go ahead and actually, um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some more potions, because we're pretty low on those right now. So, guys, I'll be right back again, sorry about the interruptions, but yeah. Alright, so, guys, we bought a lot of items. As you can see, we bought quite a few potions. Um, I think we'll be prepared for the first gym we battle. Um, we have enough. So, yeah. Go ahead and pick up all these items here. I think we're going to do some explore the city. We have a lot of time left in this recording, so yeah, might as well. Let's go check into every single one of the houses. I mean, you want to pick up all those items because, you know, items are useful. You're going to need them on your journey. They're going to help your Pokemon boost their stats, boost whatever. So this guy's just going to talk to you about something. He's not going to give you anything else. But in the last episode, we uh, obtained a quick claw from uh, a woman in um, Jubilee City, so make sure you keep looking for those items. Um, I'm going to be checking out every single house just so I know exactly where I can get um, items and stuff. So let's go ahead and continue on. Um, there's a few houses we have to check out. Two of these condominium building things. Let's go and talk to all these people. So, anyways, if you want, you can tra tra trade him a chop for that Abra. Um... So, I mean, you can, you can do that if you want, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have a Machop and I don't really want an Abra. I could've. Wait, what's this guy saying? So he wants you to show a Pokemon named Geo... Po yeah, she wants him to show you a... You, he wants you to show him a Geodude. So, I think we'll do is while we're in the mine, we might as well go catch one of those and show it to him because I think he gives us a, a reward of some sort. Um, maybe like a ribbon. I'm not sure, but I kind of want that, whatever it is, just because, you know what, every, every item's good. So, no items so far. I don't think there's much you can pick up here. You can get a Dusk Ball. That's okay. There's Psyduck. Or the same yellow, I guess. I don't know, that's kind of a plain name, but whatever. Anyway, so we're done checking. Actually, we know we have one more house. Sorry about that. Um, let's go and talk to these women. Alright, there we go. 
Now we can go ahead and head back down to the Orberg mine so we can go talk to work and make sure we can get him to go back to the gym. So let's go ahead and head inside. I'm going to be catching a Geodude as well. So you go over here and pick up this item, just walk underneath those um, coal, trans coal uh, transfers, those conveyor belt things. And then head all the way down through this door and you're inside, so make sure to just go on the rocks. Follow the outside of this huge rock in the center. You can battle some guys too. So here's a dude right here. You can go and battle him. I mean, Tweety's not that strong against him, but I think we'll be able to knock him out. Take a few hits, though. There we go. There we go, that's nice. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Tweety, or Finn. I'm oh, sorry. I, my, my old um, game, I named him Tweety, so I kind of like keep... Like, somehow just telling myself to name Tuck. Tell him, that, like, say that, but whatever. There's another potion. Ah, one of those for a collection. Why not? We could always use one of those. Like, who knows? There we go. Geodude. So I'm going to go throw a Pokeball at it. And nice. Got it. First try. That's nice. Another Geodude. Talk to Rourke. And he's going to show you Rock Smash. He's going to break it for you. That's kind of like showing up or whatever. And he's going to say that. Um, tell you that if you beat him, you can use Rock Smash just like he did. So... Now we're going to keep battling all these dudes, take that escape rope to the left of here, then leave and go be prepared for a gym battle. Um, I'm not going to battle Rourke just yet on this episode, I'm going to battle next episode. Um, so, definitely stay tuned for that, guys. Like, why wouldn't you? It's always fun. There we go. And Sprout is evolving in, I think, one or two more levels? I'm not sure, I think it's two. But whatever. Sprout's at a very good level, Finn's at a good level, and we just need our gym badge so we can, um, level up Plug. Just ready to go, so I'm taking an escape rope and exit this place, because we don't need to be here any longer. No more items to pick up, no more battles to do. That's pretty much it. Um, so I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this episode. Um, we don't only really have to, um, next, next episode we'll be battling Rourke. Um, I think we've already been in here. Yeah, we've already been in there. Um, there's also a museum you can go in here if you want. I mean, you don't have to, but you can. Here's another building right here if you want to check it out. Oh, why not? And there's a few more guys that we can talk to. And a great ball, so that's two Pokeballs that I've obtained in this town. That's okay, I guess. There we go. Now we can go ahead and head back down the um, exit building. There's something else we can pick up here. So, guys, I guess, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of the episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. Actually, no, here, we're going to go and check, head and check out this road up here. There's not much. You can catch a mall Pokemon on this grass. Um, so, you catch a chop, some Makuhita, not a Makuhita, Ponita. Pretty good fire type, but. Um, in Platinum, I suggest you use, like, a, um, uh, Hound or, Houndoom or something. Houndoom is probably better than Rapidash, for my personal opinion. I mean, Houndoom is a very great Pokemon. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah, I guess, finally, let's finish off. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this part two of my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. This was a pretty short episode, but we got a bit done. Um, and the next episode, we'll be, um, heading into the Orberg Gym to take on Rourke. And then after that, we'll be heading up to Florama Town. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. And we will see you on the next episode. Peace out.